Okay, well, there is nothing like a good meal to fill you up in these cold winter months. And there is a very popular chef in Boston that's getting quite the following for his skills in the kitchen. I recently met up with him to find out the secret to his success. I'm here with Chef Douglas Williams, one of the best chefs in the city of Boston, and he's going to take us through one of his dishes. And that, of course, means we need the best ingredients. So that's why we are here at Savinor's Butchery and Market. Let's go. Savinor's has a long history of excellence in Boston. The first market opened in 1939 in Cambridge and was frequently talked about on Julia Child's popular PBS show. Uh, we're going to start with some inspiration. My mother used to cook lamb uh, quite a bit when I was young, and she would usually put mint jelly. Uh, but I'm going to spare you of that uh, torture. You. Okay, great. Thank you. So we're going to do something a bit more herbaceous, a little more ginger forward. So we have a little ginger here. Okay, I'm just going to pop that in. It's beautiful. Look for firm flesh, um, no wrinkles, yep. uh, all the way through, no green or anything. Uh, also some shallot and some garlic as well for roasting the lamb. Goes well, pairs naturally. So next, I want to cut that a bit with some orange juice. So, what's better than some fresh orange juice? I'll grab two of these, okay? Beautiful navel oranges, okay? We're in citrus season as well, so okay. this is the perfect time to do that. It's mm -hmm. all within that season. Um, and then, for the most part, the mushrooms, these golden chanterelles, which are the most beautiful things they have in the store, in my opinion. These are just absolutely wow. gorgeous. And then we'll move on to some honey. All right. Yes, um, I love that about Savonor's Market. We always have something interesting to find, even something that I've never seen, something imported uh, that maybe I can't uh, get my hands on in the restaurants. And this is a Canadian and USA blend of raw honey. And I think it'd be great, nice to balance out that citrus, that acidic, um, and all those pieces in that sauce that I was talking about. Now we have to find our lamb. All right, so we come to you for the lamb. Hi, how are you folks doing? Hi, Kevin, how's everything? I was wondering if you had some rack of lamb. Yeah, I do. I actually have two racks here that I just finished cleaning up. Okay. It's a, it's a nice Colorado lamb. We only sell Colorado lamb because actually in Colorado they uh, farm their lamb for the meat versus in Australia you get a lot of gaminess from uh, oh. from all the, the wool because they're actually harvesting for wool and that. Uh... Oh, the fat cat looks gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know if you want to take a look. Yeah. So what are you looking for? Um, I'm looking for just an even amount of fat going around the front. Obviously, he's he's capped it off really nicely, trimmed it really well. There's no oxidation. It's all completely red. It's cherry red. Um, there's no brown. There's no anything. It just he probably did this a few minutes ago. Um, and the Frenching is done well. It looks special. It is special. Um, and it's feeling. It's cold. It's all the things that that you want to feel. This quality this is, is so important. Quality is spot on. <laughs> After our trip to Savinor's, we head to Chef Douglas's restaurant Mita in East Boston. It's one of the most picturesque spots in the city. And we set up to cook a delicious dish in this beautiful place. Okay, we are in the kitchen. We're here. Now you're going to show me the magic. What are we doing? Yes, so super, super simple. So first we're just going to season the lamb a bit. Um, salt and pepper, very basic. You can put a marinade on it if you want. Um, you can put basically any, any sort of salad dressing will work. Something that has mustard, oil, some sugars um, will give it a nice crust. But I just like salt and pepper really, really simply over. Right on the cap, then you flip it over. Boom, there we go. So now, we're gonna turn around and start to roast. Next, Chef Douglas walks me through preparing the vegetables in the dish from the mushrooms and break it down and then, you know, just kind of oh, press wow. and chop like that, yep. something a little smaller. To the ginger. Ooh, on, I can smell well, it. You can smell it, you can feel it. The oranges and the Brussels sprouts. They brighten up in color, the texture is beautiful. Uh, it's, it's, really, it's really sensational. And then it's not it, and then we're ready to go. We're ready to rock. Oh. oh wow. Look at that there, huh? Right here, these little bubbles yep. are reacting with, oh, yeah. with the side of the pan. I'm gonna show you the basing technique. Okay. All right, so here. So I'm gonna have you add a little bit of oil, please. Where? To right it? here to the side of the pan. I'd say about it, a little bit more. Triple that, one more, there you go. So the oil is gonna essentially accelerate the removal of the fat, but it also is going to add some stability for this butter. This is the right time right now to where this is foamy. And now we take this and we come down the side of the pan, follow like this, and we go over. And this is what you see on TV. This is the base yes. thing. This is the technique. So we're essentially double, we're essentially frying the lamb from the other side the whole time. You want to try a few? That's easy, yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. You want to take this? Sure. This, yep, it's not hot there. It's actually quite cool. Pick it up. There you go. That's lay it, it over. Whoops. Pick it up, lay it over. 
You see that? So now it's cooked. Oh my God. Do, do, do I'm need, so good. Do you need, another, so... do you need another job? We add more vegetables oh, so and good. start to make the sauce, which includes some of the honey we bought at Savinor's. My mom actually used to make uh, sugar candies for me, but out of honey, because I couldn't eat sugar for a, a large portion of my uh, teenage life. With the sauce made, we sat down for an incredible meal and some conversation. What was your inspiration for doing all of this? I mean, you're just sort of exploding in Boston and around Boston. Mm -hmm. What inspired you? Uh, I, I think really it's an insatiable desire to cook for people, right, and, and cook for myself. Um, but I really just love having a party every single day. I mean, that's what we have, you know, 360 days a week. And you don't just have one kind of restaurant. You you do sort of do it all. I tried to. Well, I was actually trained in French. That's my, uh, you know, the history of training. Um, I tra traveled in Paris, um, and now I get to do that in Fenway. And uh, for the springtime, it's really just going to be this amazing um, restaurant, DW French, that uh, you know has all the classics, all the hits of the brasserie, the moules frites, uh, steak frites, uh, French onion soup, escargot. You talked about your mom mm -hmm. and making you the candy. Did mm -hmm. she have any inspiration for you? Oh, hugely so, hugely so. I mean, from even things we do at Mita with uh, chopped lemon and a lot of the pastas, uh, which is something that she did, uh, which is whole lemon just minced up and added to things, to pastas, to uh, vinaigrettes. Um, you know, even with, the, with making lamb and adding ginger, like that was just a huge uh, uh, inspiration from my childhood. Uh, obviously not, we didn't have rack of lamb very much, but a lot of stews and things like that that really tied back to, to who I am. So let's go for it, okay? So you can see all the brown butter that's on the, stuck on the outside, right? Wow. And all the caramelization. So just go for it, however you like. Oh, wow. Really something, right? It's really just so beautiful. Wow, I can taste the ginger. I can taste the, I can taste the honey. You can taste the vinegar, you can taste the wine, you can taste the, the balance of it. Wow, well, this has been amazing. Thank you so much, good luck. Cheers, thank you very thank much. You. Thank you for wow. being here, thank you. So good. Oh my god. He's the coolest human you'll ever meet. And, yeah. And doesn't even know how cool he is. He's so cool. And that restaurant's the most beautiful spot in Boston with the view in its it floor to ceiling windows. Can he do breakfast? I like, know. I just want to go there every day. You really want to go. He is just, it's, the food is so good. So awesome. Hopefully, some of his cooking skills are like rubbing off on you. And... Definitely not. <laughs>